Welcome to Sunday School! Welcome to Sunday School. I'm Miss Megan. And I'm Jacob. And we are so glad you have joined us today. So glad. So glad. I have to tell you, I missed you guys last week. Yeah. I'm totally fine, totally fine, totally fine. And I spent last week in the hospital. So yeah. I am so glad to be out and to be able to be with you guys. I'm totally fine. Totally fine, totally fine. All right. So anyways, welcome to Sunday School. Last week, we learned about the importance of fairness and justice. Spoil alert, Jesus is a big fan of fairness and justice. In big fact, fan. big fan. In fact, this whole summer's theme of lessons is called Seeking Justice Together. We are followers of God, and if God wants us to take care of each other, well then, that's just exactly what we need to do. So, Today, we are going to learn the importance of welcoming everyone. Everyone, 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 everyone. Why would you do this? <laughs> not just the people who are rich and fancy. Everyone. And not just the people who are poor and need things, but everyone. Everyone, everyone, everyone. So before we go any further, I would really like to pray together. Dear God, we live in this beautiful world you created. Sometimes we make mistakes and do hurtful things to others or to creation. Sometimes people feel sad. And when people feel sad, please help them to feel happy. Sometimes people feel lonely. When people are lonely, please help them to find a friend. We pray for this beautiful world you created. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. Amen. Let's have a snack. So, you'll notice something funny about your bag this week. It has so many things. Way too many snacks. So I'll show normally, you. well, it's got like kind of a variety. It's just not everybody has necessarily the exact same things that oh, we really? have. Yes, I just kind of whoo, yep. made it a variety for all of us. So usually I put in one snack per kid, but this week we included enough for two for each person. And is that because we're gonna just eat a whole bunch today? No. Do you think? No, it's because we're talking so much about sharing and kindness and welcoming, and we wanted to make it easy for you. For me, it's just, honestly, I'm gonna confess something. Okay. The only reason I do this yes. is to eat snacks. Is for the snacks, I know. I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. But I get you, I totally yeah. feel you. I'm all about snacks too. And so that's a really fun way that we can share kindness with somebody is we can share our snacks. So today you have enough snacks for you to have one, and also for you to share one with somebody else. So, what do you think? These are our snacks. Jacob and I have goldfish, bugles, animal crackers, and jelly beans. You what guys you probably guys have? have something different. Yeah, like I had a whole assortment and I just kind of- What were some of the options that we don't have right now? Oh, that's a good question. Have... If only I had a better memory, but I don't. So, <laughs> oh, gosh. all right, so let's all eat one of our snacks and then let's save one to give it to somebody else. So, and I'm not super hungry right now. Do you want to just share a snack right now, Jacob? Uh, sure. What would you like to share? Goldfish, bugles, animal crackers, jelly beans. Arrange them in different. Okay, in no peeking, no peeking, okay. All right. They're arranged. One plus three. One plus three, so you want the number four? Yeah. Bugles. Like we're yes. having bugles, and then oh, we yeah. are, oops. I was a little too exuberant with our bugles, and now it's coming out a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna save our other snacks, and we're gonna share them with somebody, just to be welcoming. So, Can we you share with the dog? Can we share with the dog? No. <laughs> and you never know, it might just make their day, so. Next, let's practice our Bible verse. Remember, just like go. before, oh, thank you. I'm gonna have a bugle real quick because these are so good. Mm. Yeah, we are crunchy and salty and- Not too salty. They make my mouth happy, but they also make my heart happy because my father-in-law loved bugles. Yeah. So every time I eat bugles, I feel like I'm with him. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so we're learning a Bible verse. Last week we started it and it's long, just like our last one. So we're learning but not it, as long. Not as long. So we're learning it bit by bit. And this week, we're actually gonna say the exact same thing we said last week. We're not even moving on. So 
I'm gonna hold this up real close here. So I haven't you can see. seen it. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm gonna guess the whole verse. The whole verse. We're not gonna do the whole verse. Oh. We're just gonna do the beginning. So this is the whole verse. But we are only gonna say today, just like last week. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Exactly. All right. So let's try that. Oh, I'm gonna wait for Jacob to have this bugle out of his mouth. Do, I'm done. Do, 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 do. Okay. He's done. All right. Let's say it together, guys. Ready? One, two, three. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Want to say that again? Sure. Let's be head on. Let's do it again. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love it. Great job, guys. Let's see it's story time. All right. See it's story time. Three, two, one. Fan our snap fingers. Today's story comes from the book of the, the, the J, James. James, that's right. If you guess a James, then you are officially amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so that's right, Jacob. Thank you. Just like all the rest of our stories, this Bible story comes from the very same Bible that our grown-ups read. So James was a man who followed the ways of Jesus, just like all of us. So James wrote a letter about what it means to live like Jesus. His letter is in our Bible. That's right. In a book called James. James. <laughs> so this is what the letter said. The letter said, take care of children who don't have parents. Love them and give them a family. Take care of children. Sorry. Be a friend for people who are lonely and yes. do not have enough. Yes. So gather around people who are lonely. If someone wears fancy clothes and jewelry, while someone else wears old, dirty clothes, be kind. what happens? Yes, be kind to both people. Give both people a place to sit. Don't give one special attention over the other. God welcomes everyone. 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 Including people who do not have enough. So do not just say to them, Stay warm and go have a good dinner. That's not going to help. Instead, help them and help them get what they need. So, I wonder, I wonder why people would be nice to fancy dressed people, nicer than to normal dressed people. I wonder how I would feel if I was hungry. Oh, oh if I was hungry and food. gave me food. Yes. Wow. Oh, I think I'd be so grateful. Or if I felt left down if someone included me. That makes my heart feel so good when and I feel left out. And as always, we wonder. What you wonder. What said right. you craft time. time. You did! You took it right out of my mouth! So today in our story, we learned that God wants us to be welcoming to... Everyone! 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 Not just people who are the same as us. And everyone. not just people who are different from us. Not everyone. Everyone. Not just people who have enough. And not just people who are in need. God wants us to be welcoming to... Everyone! 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 So, for fun today, we are going to learn about ways that we are the same as each other and different from each other. Both things should be celebrated. Both things are awesome. So first we're gonna work on this page. It's called All About Me. So um, I'm gonna share with you some things that I already wrote on the page. And that way, maybe we can discover some things that you and I are similar at or different. What about me? Both of these are exciting. And you do. You're, in you're inviting. You're doing the fans, but not me? I'm doing you too. I'm doing you too. <laughs> so, Us and you guys. So both of these things are exciting, whether we find things that were similar or we find things that are different. And then after you've had a chance to fill out your own page, I want you to find somebody, maybe somebody in your family or a friend, find somebody, or Jacob, find somebody, and I want you to talk to them about the things you wrote or drew about yourself 
and talk to them about what they would have written or drawn about themselves. And it's really fun, like, it's just really fun to find similarities and differences between us and people that are important to us. Similarities and differences. Yes, both okay. are awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you what I already did on my paper. So it says all about me. In each of the three hearts, draw or write about something you like to do, a person you love, or something special about yourself. When you are done, find a partner and share what you have drawn or written with each other. Then ask questions. This is how you discover more about your friend. So for me, I think we've talked about my drawing. Uh, so this, in my first heart, I decided I was gonna draw things that I liked to do. So this is not a very good representation, but that is supposed to be my dog with a leash because I love, love walking my dog. And then over here in green, looks kind of like a green splotch. That's supposed to be a book because I really love reading books too. So those are two of my zillion favorite things to do or walk the dog and read a book. And then in my second heart, I drew somebody that I loved and spoiler, I drew Jacob and I drew my husband, Jim, because, oh my gosh, I love my husband, Jim, and I love my son, Jacob. So I drew the two of them and I drew them holding golf clubs because they both love to golf. Yeah. And then I drew waves in the background because they both love the ocean so much. Yeah, so. and fun fact, when this is posted, I, you, I will be in a golf match. He will be. He will be in a golf match on so, Sunday. Vote for me, please. <laughs> yes, let's root for Jacob in his golf match. So those were my first two hearts. And then for my third heart, it said something special about yourself. And I gotta be honest, sometimes that's hard for me to think of something special about myself. But it's really important that we know all these wonderful, wonderful, special things that God created in us. And so one thing that I think is special about us is I think I'm really pretty good at staying positive and looking on the mm -hmm. bright side and being encouraging. So that's one thing. Thank you. I so, will tell you. Oh, thank you. So I drew a sunshine and my sunshine has a smiley face and then I drew a whole bunch of smiley faces around it because I feel like I'm pretty good at being happy and positive and exciting, excited and uplifting and encouraging. And I really love doing that too. I have lots of passion for that. So that's my sheet that I've shared with you. I wonder if you have anything that's similar or different. And once you're done with your sheet, make sure you find a partner and share it with them and talk to them so that you can find things that are similar and different too. Sound good, Jacob? All right, that was fun. Before we go, let's say our Bible verse one more time. Remember, it's kind of long, but we're just saying one line. Ready? Yeah. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Excellent. All right, and finally, I would like to pray for us before we go. Thank, Thank you, God, God, for welcoming everyone. Remind us. Everyone. To, everyone. <laughs> remind us to welcome everyone, too. Help us to learn something new about the people in our lives this week. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Bye, friends. We'll see you next week. Bye.